You're about to listen to the most informative, persuasive, and inspiring show ever. The James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. Live, it's here on the States Friday. That's why we take a break from the news and to be, how do I say this? To be bluntly honest with you, I think it's needed. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um... Tomorrow, I'm going to have a weekend uh, edition, but it's going to be on the humor side, okay? Kind of a blast of a thing, you know, one of them Bill Clinton things, if you know what I mean. So, I want you to be, to be ready, okay? <clears throat> now, the topic today is biblical conservative federalism. We're going to be talking about where the founding fathers got their ideas to found this nation. Most of it was in the Bible. But then the rest of them were divided into thirds. Uh, William Blackstone, Montesquieu, and John Mock. <clears throat> now, what people don't know is all three of these have cited the Bible to arrive at their conclusions. So we're talking about biblical conservative federalism. Okay? Now, I know how we feel about the past election. And I ain't here to talk about that or to hear about that no today's the day that we really get all that a lot of that reactivity at the door because to be honest with you I'm feeling kind of saturated if you know what I mean So let's go to Romans chapter 13. Okay. I want you to listen to this. Romans 13, 1 to 5. Let every soul be submissive unto the high power powers <laughs> for there is no power in the church but of God The powers that be are ordained of God. Okay, as much as all of us do not like Biden, this was ordained of God. You may say, well, Jimmy, how can he be that way if he's caused all this problem? Well, guess what? He's to wake this country up. Verse 2. Whosoever therefore resisted the power Resistant the ordinance of God. And they that rebel shall receive to themselves damnation. Now, you're thinking damnation to hell? No, I don't think it's that way. I think... Uh, when, when the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints speaks of damnation, I want you to think of the dam of a river. What's the dam of a river supposed to be there? To stop some of the flow. So when you think of dam, 
as in uh, D-A-M-N, I want you to think stop. Verse 3. For rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is a servant of God to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he heareth not, beareth not the sword in vain. For he, he is the servant of God, a venture to ex- execute wrath upon did him that doeth evil. Wherefore, you must needs be subject, not only for wrath's sake, but also for conscience' sake. Now, why don't you think about this, please? Please this. I know we don't like Biden's policies, but I think we can we can pay respect to the to the office. Okay, I don't very much like his policies. I don't very much like his current attitude toward the office itself. He disrespects the office himself, but that doesn't mean that we. Disrespect. I know a lot of people. They feel like they're on high alert. And boom, boom, boom. The world is falling apart. I want you guys to forgive me as there's a part of a Toby Mac song called Help Is On The Way. I want to read you a couple of times this little ditty part of it that I like. Kind of encourages me in time of trouble, such as now. Yes, I've seen my share of troubles, but the Lord ain't failed me yet. We keep holding on to the promise, y'all. Because he's rolling up his sleeves again. Yes, I've seen my share of trouble. But the Lord ain't failed me yet. We're holding on to the promise, y'all. Because he's holding up his sleeves again. No doubt we fear about what's going on in this country. And I don't know, lately, you know, all these commercials and propagandists on the left has been driving me crazy. But sometimes I think we need to pull ourselves aside from the mess and consider matters of faith. Okay? Government is ordained of God. Do we necessarily have to like the policies that we're dealing with right now? No, we don't. We have all this inflation and stuff. We have the alphabet people seeing their bit and renewing their agenda for the past few six years. It's scary. I didn't become aware of it until 2019. And I thought, sure, America doesn't have to cave into all this. It's BS. 
You may say, but why? I want you to go back to the book of Genesis. It says, for God made in his image. In his image, in the image of God created he, uh, him. Male and female created he them. So gender is an identity here. Folks, if we go back to biblical policy, where there's love, where there's hope, we can get rid of some of this fear and, and all this stuff going on in the world. So I hope I don't have to say this fear of faith righty helps you. Because you can deal with this. All right? I want you guys to know how much I love you. How I'm glad to be on board. God knows we all have our pains. But we're lucky to have the Lord with us. So with that, I hope you enjoy listening to the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership Classroom. This is Jimmy Hendricks saying until next time, keep up your faith. Keep up your hope. I say this every day when I need to sell soothe. Jesus saves and I'm okay. Therefore, I want you to put this down in your soul right now. Jesus saved. Listen, Jesus saves and we're all going to be okay. Take care and be proactively informed. And remember this from the bottom of my heart. Jimmy loves you. I really, really love you. God bless you and have a blessed day.